them a big, beautiful Christmas present in the form of a tremendous tax cut. President Trump, he also kissed his beautiful tax bill today at one point, so welcome to 2017. The whole scene reflecting the Trump administration's last effort for a legislative win this year after failures on Obamacare and the border wall. So here are three keys to understanding this brand new tax proposal. Now the plan is not just some giveaway for millionaires. You hear that rhetoric, but it's not an accurate description. The biggest giveaways are for multi-millionaires, and that's the first rule in this tax plan. You could call it the Gucci Main rule, million here, million there, multi-millionaire, because that's the bracket you need to be in to do well. People with property in the range of only several million dollars get a tax cut when they transfer their estates. If you don't have multi-millions, you pay more so they get that cut. Now, the second rule here is all about legally avoiding taxes with tricky accounting. You could call this one the Jay-Z rule. He said, who deserves the Medal of Freedom is my accountant. He's been hula hooping through loopholes, working around things. Jay-Z adding that he's avoided so many taxes, the IRS should have had the townhouses surrounded. But instead, thanks to the lawyers, he marbled the foyer, took the floor up. We could go on. The point is, this kind of accounting encourages that kind of tax dodging. The plan eliminates something called the alternative minimum tax. That is a rule that makes sure, even if you have those great accountants and lawyers, there's a minimum tax you have to pay. Well, that would be over. In fact, under Donald Trump's 2005 tax return, it would have saved him millions. And finally, the GOP plan raises Lauren Hill's rule of financial planning. It's not about what you cop, it's about what you keep. The plan eliminates deductions that help middle class families keep more money if they have a mortgage or have a student-related deduction. Meanwhile, corporations get a permanent cut down to the tax rate of 20%. Now, whether lower taxes on corporations is good for regular people is a big part of the ongoing debate. You may remember some say it all comes back to people anyway. One is we could raise taxes on people. That's not the way, that's Corporations, corporations are people, my friend. Corporations are people? And maybe that was just Mitt Romney's way of saying, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. And if you are rich enough to be a business, well, this plan could be very good for you. For a lot more analysis, I'm joined by...